Welcome back. We're continuing to highlight the history that was made as the city of Milwaukee elected their first African American mayor, Cavalier Johnson. And joining us this afternoon is Mark Cass with the Milwaukee Business Journal. Mark, I know we talked a little bit about where the business community was putting their support behind. So what's their reaction to Cavalier Johnson's win? You know, probably not surprised, Tom, but I know there's a lot of happiness. I mean, a lot of support went there. A lot of people are very pleased. A lot of, very, a lot of people are very pleased with the history that was made this week. But now it's time to get to work. And, you know, right now the number one issue I'm hearing from all these executives who obviously supported Chevy is crime. We need to have a plan to address crime. We need to have a plan to address, to address reckless driving. It's impacting our city. It's impacting, you know, all the people who live in Brookfield, Heartland, Oconomowoc, who come downtown. This is a big deal to these executives. It's a big deal to the mayor, obviously. So, I mean, they're going to be calling on him a lot. He's going he's to have a lot of friends all of a sudden. We're going to be wanting him to get involved and really try to make this issue work. I know it's an issue across the country, but in Milwaukee, it's having a dramatic impact on, uh, on safety throughout the downtown, throughout the city, and it has to be addressed. Yeah, kind of the first day, the first thing he said was he's going to be, you know, essentially dialing for dollars and calling up Madison and saying, hey, yes. you know, we need some more money for uh, public safety. Uh, it's opening day for the Brewers today. They're in it Chicago, is. of course, uh, tied the last time I checked. Uh, they're returning yeah, home three next three week. last I saw. Yeah, so <laughs> since the lockout ended, what, what's the public response to buying tickets there and sponsorships also? You know, I think it's good. I think it's maybe not as strong as in, as in other years because the Brewers didn't have that off season. You know, that five or six months of the lockout, people really not going. I saw the Brewers still have tickets available for opening day, and they put and they put 800 or 1,000 seats on sale earlier this week. So that's kind of unusual. I mean, usually opening day is gone like that. But I think over time it's going to pick up. You know, th I mean, the thing that's going to help them, of course, Tom, is winning. <laughs> if they win, you know, they're going to have fans in the stands. And right now, they're, I mean, they're expected to have a great year, they're expected to be in the playoffs again this year. So if that happens, there's no doubt there's going to be a lot of fans out there. Brewers, fans of Milwaukee love winning. Obviously, that's a big thing. And then sponsorships. They just had a big deal with Potawatomi that was very good for them. They're looking at other sponsorships. But again, sponsors love to back winners. So, I mean, if they win, I could see it really being a great year for them. Uh, you guys at the Business Journal had a, a story today about the popularity of the dockless scooters here yeah. in Milwaukee or the unpopularity of them for some people. <laughs> well, uh, it depends on your perspective, right? Exactly. They're coming back, though, right? <laughs> they are. They are coming back. They've been, you know, here the last couple of years, there's been some issues with them on the sidewalks, you know, that whole deal. So the city has kind of looked at that and really surveyed it, saw that over a half million rides actually happened last year. So this is a big deal, but, you know, it was an issue for the city right in the central area because of that sidewalk riding. But there is a need for them. There is a want for them. There is a want to have these transportation alternatives in the city, you know, rather than just cars. You can take a scooter from, you know, point A to B. You can go from the market to the, to the east side on the scooter. So, I mean, that option is there. And, you know, really, I think it's, I think it's something that's going to be only successful. You go to other cities, Tom, and they're very, very popular. So I see them kind of growing over time here. Yeah, I mean, as somebody that lives in the downtown core, you and I don't live yes. too far from each other, uh, you know, I like to scoot around downtown, but once they turned those off, there was no use for me. I couldn't go anywhere on them. Right. Because where are well, you going to ride? Well, you could have come them? over, Tom, anytime you wanted. I would have had you over here. You could have taken the scooter over. But, you know, they are, they are very popular kind of outside the downtown even, which I said, which is interesting to me, you know, out Wauwatosa in other areas. So I think they are going to become here to stay, and I've seen them all over the country. All right, Mark Cass with the Milwaukee Business Journal. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Now go watch the rest of the game. Uh, for more of today's top business stories, head to bizjournals.com slash Milwaukee.